so today we are going to see what is inter process communication in client server technology technology so first we can see what is inter process communication the process within a system may be independent or cooperating a mechanism whereby one process can communicate or exchange data with another process a set of techniques for the exchange of data among multiple threads in one program or more process the process may be running on one or more computer connected by a network this is called as inter process communication okay the main purpose of this inter process communication is to exchange data next we can see what is the purpose of using this uh, ipc so familiarity with the different mechanisms there are available for communicating between two or more processes even quite small applications can benefit from this approach particularly where they could be many users access on common resources such as database client server computing always uses inter process communication whereas network pro programming can also use inter process communication which will be easy for communicating the program so there are four main similarities first one is um, it is used for communicating uh, two or more processes the second one benefit is it is used for um, database and common uh, uh, resource sharing third one is client server computing and the fourth one is net it is used in network programming next why it inter process communi why what is the purpose of using inter process communication so this inter process communication is mainly used for information sharing resource sharing computation speed up synchronization modularity and convenience next first we can see the mechanism of inter process communication so there are three mechanism in inter process communication one is message passing second one is sharing a memory and third one is synchronization in message passing passing technology sending message to another process or receiving from another process is called as message passing technology sharing memory means it is sharing the process with the a single area this is called as sharing of memory synchronizing means it itself within another process by the means of semaphores it synchronizes the data within itself with the help of semaphores next one is message passing mechanism so in message passing mechanism the establishing communication between the physical and logical communication so here it tells how physically or logically the data is being communicated exchanging message between two primitives operations for fixed or variable sized message passing it can send message both it can also receive message next message passing system now we saw about mechanism so mechanism is uh, to establish the communication link and then it can exchange the data using fixed size or variable size these are the two mechanism we saw next we can see how the message has been passed it can pass either directly or indirect communication second method is it can pass symmetrically or asymmetrical communication third one is it can pass automatically or explicit buffering using explicit buffering so now we saw about what is message passing and what are the mechanism uh, used in message passing then how the system is uh, working so these are the three things we saw in message passing mechanism second we are going to see about synchronizing message a message passing may be either blocking or non blocking first block send so blocking send la in what's happening means sender blocked until message received by mailbox mailbox or processor next non blocking send a sender receives the operation immediately after sending okay next the third mechanism is blocking receive the receiver blocks until the message is available non blocking receive the receiver returns immediately 
with either a valid or null message okay these are the things in synchronization so in this message passing mechanism can be either blocking or non uh, non blocking so in blocking and non blocking there are two two uh, primitives takes place one is blocking send then uh, block receiving non blocking send and non blocking receiving these are the four mechanism which is implemented in synchronizing messaging okay so after this while um, message passing and synchronization we need buffering buffering is an important part in this message passing first we can see buffering uh, all messages system requires a framework to a temporary buffering system these queues immediate uh, these queues are imme immediate in on three ways intimated on three ways one is zero capacity second one is bound cap bounded capacity fourth one is unbounded capacity first one we can see zero capacity zero capacity means no messages may be queued within a link requires sender to block until the receiver retrieves the message message this is called as zero capacity bounded capacity means the link has a finite number of message buffers if no buffers are available then the sender must block until one is freed up next unbounded capacity link has unlimited buffer space consequently send never need to block so there are three types of mechanism used in buffering so in this three types we can use any one type of methodology which we need okay next we can see what is inter process communication methods so in inter process communication methods we have six types of method first one is file second one is signal third one is socket fourth one is message queuing and fifth one is pipe next one is semaphore first we can see what is file a file computer file is a block of arbitrary information or a resource for sorting information next a file is a durable in the sense that it remains available for the program to user after the concurrent program has finished next we can see what is signal a signal has a limited from a limited form of inter process communication used in unix operating system and unix like operating system which is like a uh, Uh, linux operating system A example is linux operating system essentially it is an asynchronous notification sent to process in order to notify it of event that occurred when a signal is sent to a process the operating system interrupts the process normal flow of execution execution can be interrupted during instruction so um normally we know what is signal when uh, uh, a thing is passing from a to b if uh, it goes and reach correctly it means the signal is going properly if it is interrupted the 